Good evening, I'm Dick Brennan. And I'm Alice Gaynor. Welcome to the News at 9. A 6.2 earthquake causes widespread destruction across central Italy. Rescuers are still trying to reach the victims trapped in the rubble. More than 150 people are confirmed dead, many believed to be children, and three towns nearly destroyed. TV 1055's Tracy Carrasco joins us now with the very latest. Tracy. Dick and Alice, aftershocks have been hitting the area all day long. As workers are working through the night, digging through the rubble, there have been glimmers of hope as survivors have been found, but also devastation as the death toll continues to rise. <laughs> Applause and cheers of joy as rescue workers frantically digging by hand finally free a 10-year-old girl still alive after being trapped for 17 hours. As night falls in central Italy, it is a race against time, searching for survivors of the 6.2 earthquake. The powerful quake shook people out of their beds in the middle of the night around 3.30 a.m. local time. The quake flattened much of Amatrice, a town 100 miles northeast of Rome. Residents recall the intense shaking. Clinking, thundering, sort of rumble. It felt like someone had put a bulldozer out of the house was trying to knock it down. In Ilica, another hard-hit village, large slabs of concrete fell from buildings, trapping people and crushing cars. Survivors looked dazed as they huddled in a field. Rescue teams and volunteers spent the day searching through mountains of debris where homes once stood. Priest Fabio Gamarota heard residents calling from windows. Aiuto, aiuto. Help, help. He says he tried to lift heavy stones off people under the rubble. The death toll topping 150, but that number continues to rise given the huge number of vacationers in the area. The quake zone is a popular spot for Italians with second homes, and the population swells in August when most take their summer holidays. Here in New York, at a market along Arthur Avenue, known as Little Italy in the Bronx, TVs show Italian news and video of the destruction. His mom is old, she's scared. Joyce Volterra's in laws live in Rome and felt the quake miles away. They immediately called this morning. They felt the tremor was so close to the surface of the earth that uh, they felt it in Rome. President Obama spoke with the president of Italy to offer condolences and support following the earthquake. The U.S. mission to Italy is assisting Americans who may have been affected. At this point, the U.S. embassy says it has no information that American citizens have been injured. Dick, Alice. Tracy, thank you so much.